Hello YouTubers, beer geeks and beer hounds alike. Bill here, we're going to do a beer review. Um, this one is uh, by Unibrow and it's called La Fin du Monde. Du Monde. And um, it comes in at 9% alcohol by volume. It says ale brewed with spices. Bottle re bottle refermented. That's what the label looks like. Uh, I've had this a long time ago at a brew fest and I thought it was really good so I went ahead and uh, picked it up. It's a product of Canada. Yeah, it's by Unibrow. Imported by Unibrow USA, New York, uh, New York, um, Chambly, Canada. And it is um, 19 IBUs. Says, um, that's about all it says. 9% alcohol by volume. And uh, has a best buy date of 12 10 22. So this is a good beer to um, um, age. It's a Belgian style triple ale. And um, I got this at Total Wine and More for about 13 bucks for a four pack of. Um, 12 ounce bottles. So let's get it cracked open and see what we got here. I do like Belgian style beers, they're really tasty. I really don't remember the taste of this beer, but I do remember I did like it. So uh, let's see what we got here. Ooh, really easy pour here. Very vivacious. Take it easy here. Sorry if there's a bunch of background noise. I got the windows open. It's a little warm today. And I don't want, it's not quite warm enough to where I want to kick on the AC yet, so. La Fin du Monde. I guess that's how you say it. By Unibrow. Belgian style triple ale. So, um, this, I don't know what the bottle date is, so I'm not sure exactly how old it is. But, uh, it's got a long way to go by the Best Buy date, according to them. So, I have a monster. Foamy, frothy, kind of silky head, a little loose. And we have a hazy, hazy amber color. As you can see, can see a little bit of sharpness of the light through it, but it's a hazy amber. Got a bunch of bubbles streaming up from the bottom, small bubbles. Heads dissipating pretty fast. Oh, this has a little orangey. Yeah, it's kind of like amber, pretty much like an amber. All right, let's get an aroma on this puppy. Yeah, right up front, I get the uh, Belgian type notes like banana and uh, cloves. Getting some fruity notes like uh, orange. Yeah, some kind of like spices, like some, some hop spices. Almost like a, just kind of a general citrusiness. But mainly like spices, banana and clove. Make my mouth water. I'm getting a touch of tobacco. It's 
maybe a touch of like coriander or something like that a little bit of cinnamon maybe almost like a slight pineapple note it smells really good let's get a hit cheers Taste follows the aroma well. Mm. It's got a little bite on the tongue. A little uh, last train home. Got a little carbonation bite on the tongue. It's got a medium, medium mouthfeel. It's very well carbonated. It's very fizzy on the tongue. All the aromas I picked up are in the sip. not really bitter but it's a little bit tangy it's got like a, a tanginess to it I'd say initially the aroma was a lot more pungent but it seems to kind of tapered off now it's got almost like an apricotty kind of note going definitely bottle conditioned you can see everything on the bottom I shall show you. You see the uh, stuff on the bottom where it's bottle conditioned. Right there, yeah. I didn't want to get all that into the beer. So I just kind of left it on the bottom of the bottle there. Well, this is a very tasty beer. Let's swill it one more time. I'll wrap it up. Cheers. Yeah, for the most part, it's like got the spices. Excuse me. And um, the typical Belgian yeast notes like the, the um, slight banana and clove and like coriander. Got like an apricot-y kind of note. Little tiny tobacco. It's a pretty, pretty awesome beer. Very well constructed. Very easy to drink for 9%. There's no raw alcohol notes, no booziness or nothing like that. This beer probably gets really good if you age it for a while. A lot of people are digging this. I think it's, it's like probably like 13 or 14 bucks for um. No, it was actually a six, wait, was it a six pack? I can't remember. No, it was a four pack. It was a little pricey, but it's a very well constructed beer. Very enjoyable. Very drinkable for 9%. Excellent head retention. The bottle condition really uh, comes up good on that. Got that little tanginess to it. Um, this is pretty damn tasty. Is it the best um, Belgian style I've ever had? No. But it's a damn good one, that's for sure. Um, would I want to drink it every day? Probably not. Um, this would be something I'd probably pick up when I get the hankering for it. But uh, I can think of a few other uh, Belgies that are a little better priced and that are, in my opinion, better than this. But this is no slouch. It's pretty damn good. Picking up a little bubblegum note now. It's pretty complex, actually. Almost like a floral note coming through. It's very complex. 
I'm getting all kinds of citrus, floral, um, you know, some, some hop notes and tobacco, all kinds of stuff going on here. Very complex, uh, tasty beer. Yeah, that's pretty much what I got. La Fin du Monde. So on a scale of one to uh, five stars, I'm going to give this puppy um, a 4.1. Um, some people might think it's better than that, but um, you know everybody taste taste buds are different. Um, I do think it's a very well constructed, tasty beer. It's a little bit priced for four, the four pack, but um, you're getting a really high quality, awesome Belgian style ale. So 4.1 it is. That's my story. I'm sticking with it. Um, I'll have the description of this beer at the bottom of the video in the description section. Uh, I'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe and like the video. That's awesome. And uh, horns up to this puppy. All right, y'all have an awesome day, and we'll check you later. See ya.